Hey you, it's Jess here and we're going to be planning the month of May in my Caress Press inserts and this is a Caress Press monthly kit for May uh, which you would have seen in a recent haul uh, but it's just this pretty like tulip kind of art, springy art and um, yeah this is the one that I chose for May. Uh, she brings out two kits usually for each month so I just choose one of them. <laughs> And then what I like to do is I keep a, a piece of notebook paper in my monthly so with all the dates written out so I can like plan out what each day is going to have because um, I do pre-plan these monthlies. These are sort of more of a, a general thing with, with bills and these are just my bills. They're not, um, my partner has their own bills as well. <laughs> um, but these are the bills that I pay and um yeah, and then I like to have a checklist in the sidebar to do some more pre-planning stuff, like just some general things I want to do in the month, including um, important business things like doing my um, fat returns and also um, video ideas and art things that I'm going to be doing at each uh, that I want to release and also customs. So we're first just going to lay down the base. The, I like the... The nice thing about monthlies for me is that they're super simple and I like just putting down the big stickers and it's super satisfying. <laughs> um, this time the uh, dates not in the month are down the bottom um, but we do have the properly cut stickers from Caress Press here so easy to put in and cover that all up. Why am I taking so long? <laughs> Uh, so I guess let's talk about the month of May. So here the f the snow is finally all melted. Um, we're still at, like cold, like under 10 degrees Celsius. But um, the sun's been coming out most days and it's been really nice. Um, my cat Heidi is loving the sun outside and we've been letting her out on the balcony. Because um, we don't let her out on the balcony in winter. Uh, if you don't know... Our balcony, I should say, if you're worried about her being on a balcony, it is all glassed in. Um, so you have like a normal balcony, then it's got enclosed by windows that you can't open, but um, they keep her well um, tucked away safe in our balcony so she can't get out. But, but she can sit up and watch people and have some fresh air, which is great. Um, which I love. This is the thing I love about ba most apartment buildings in Finland have this glazing or these windows on their balconies and I love them. Um, so with the checklist in, so what else this month? Uh, well, the first day, the first of the month is May Day or in Finnish it's Vapu and we are planning to do, um, the uh, there's usually celebrations of like having a picnic and uh, getting out and about. It's a workers day, obviously workers day off as well. And I think a lot of people go out to this certain fountain in Helsinki wearing their. Um, as a student here, you get like a white cap when you graduate, so it sort of um, shows that you're a student or was a student. So people like to wear those on May Day, I think. <laughs> Uh, but we're going to be doing the main thing of, um, there's a lot of food and drink around Vapu here in Finland. So there's a drink that um, only comes out during the season. And in fact, it started at the beginning, it came out at the beginning of April. And we've been drinking so much of it, so it's so delicious. It's called Sima and it's like a fermented honey mead with some lemon usually. It's like a mead and it's very, very mildly alcoholic, super mildly, but it's super delicious and it only comes out at this time of year and all culminates on May Day. So we've got our last two bottles <laughs> of Sema to enjoy for this year. Um, I think the first year we were here, we were here and had May Day. We only got one bottle of it and we're like, well, that was stupid. We need to get it earlier so we can have more of this because it's delicious. Um, and then you also have um, sugared donuts, which uh, the donut dough has cardamom in it. So they're a little bit, a little slight more um, 
a little slight more spice and not as sweet but they are rolled in sugar and this year we're going to try making out and frying our own donuts so that will be really fun they also have um, something called tipalaya I think it's tipalaya or uh, tilapia anyway um, it is just a finished word for a funnel cake so funnel cakes are also really popular here during May Day so you, you know you have fried goods and you have um, a honey mead <laughs> and that's what you have for May Day so we're planning to do to make our own donuts on Sunday on the 1st of May so that'll be really exciting um, and as you can see in my planning I've put in all my bills and this time I've decided not to put in all of the round icons on them I thought I'd just leave them as they are as like little things I don't know I thought that worked out okay and I'm just putting in the payday flags um, I realized this month I had five paydays and there's only five payday flags which is fine but um, I couldn't put in my partner locks payday as I've been doing um, <clears throat> excuse me it's first thing in the morning and I want to get this voiceover done <laughs> but I have a bit of a crankly voice you know morning voice uh, but they're pay it's supposed to be on 15th but it's a Sunday so they'll probably get paid 16th I assume or the 13th so my payday around that time will be fine anyway it's not that important <laughs> um, but yeah and then I just put in I guess there's also Mother's Day so I should call my mum um, she lives in Australia still uh, as all my family does <laughs> Um, so I should call her that day and then what else um, I guess it's just still more springy hopefully by the end of this month everything will be a bit more green um, the trees around where I live have have yet to blossom but that's okay I think I, I want to do some more like actual stuff outdoors um, but we will see I've got a few things planned that I want to go to but maybe there'll be more of a June July thing um, but I should show you, I should say that these third boxes that I'm putting on the second week of May is for Eurovision and I love Eurovision. I've been watching Eurovision since 2006, which, um, was funnily enough, it was either the year that Finland hosted because they won the previous year or it was the year Finland won. I can't remember. Um, they've only won once, so, <laughs> um, but... Uh, I do love Eurovision. I know that there's still ongoing an American song contest that's kind of based on Eurovision, but I haven't heard much about it. I don't think it was that popular in the end. Um, but you can't, you just can't beat the original. Eurovision is just so fun. And this year we actually watched the Finnish contest to pick the Finnish entry for Eurovision. Uh, we haven't done that previously. But those some, um, I think almost all the songs are really good and I enjoy the song that got in for Eurovision so hopefully they get to the final but I'm just marking in here with some SBC doodles that uh, uh, the semi-final one, the semi-final two and the final which I did a little trophy doodle which I thought was cute um, but this year it's uh, ho hosting Italy so that will be interesting to watch I have heard that when Italy does their own you know um, when they choose their entrances for Italy they also do like a competition and I have heard it, like it goes over time for hours <laughs> uh, and I've heard this lovingly from Italians so we'll see hopefully they keep it on time because Eurovision is long as it is but <laughs> that will be interesting to see and then um yeah I just love Eurovision and it's very popular in Australia which is why um, if you've heard Australia does actually um, compete in Eurovision it's because Euro um, it's been on Australian TV for like decades so we finally like wrestled ourselves into the competition <laughs> And I would say, like, I don't think it's that weird because um, there's a lot of first and second and third generation European <clears throat> European immigrants in 
or parent, uh, children of immigrants in Australia. So uh, I'm even one of those because my dad immigrated from Europe um, to Australia. And then my mum's grandmother, my, my mum's mother also immigrated. So uh, I think that's that sort of history there that lends its popularity in, in Australia. Um, what else? Um, now I'm just setting up the, I like to try and find a way to use these washi strips because I think they're fun <laughs> and they I, they add a lot to the spread I think um, in making it look more full but I am putting in that I'm starting a shop sale all of my art will be on sale for 30% off for this week in May and um, I like to have basically on my shop I will have two um, sales a year and that's usually May and October. So I feel like they're, they're like six months apart, basically. So you have two times a year to um, get some of my art on sale. I do usually have a 10% off coupon all the time. But this is the, you know, the only time you get 30% off is twice a year. Um, although in April I was having a retiring art sale and I retired all of my old art that was on my old listing style which is all like from 2018 <laughs> um, so that that finishes at the end of April so there's a lot of cheap art going around the last couple of months but it's good to like just sell some stuff get it out there and um, yeah always happy to have a sale but I feel like I used to try and do them every holiday like some shops a lot of shops do but I felt like um, I know it's kind of like, I don't know, just the, the idea of your underselling your stuff, like underpricing it by selling, having it on sale too much. I think it's better just to have two sales a year and then the people who don't like the idea of having it full price, they can stock up twice a year and I think they're all, we're all happy then. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's a, what I've been had been thinking for a while, which is why I switched to two. Um, because it's like you know, I priced my art is what I think it was. It's worth, although it is, <laughs> I think, time wise, it's worth a lot more. But you know, sometimes you have to go by the market too. Because it takes a few days of like very intense work, but that's okay. Which uh, reminds me, before we finish up this plan with me, that I have a lot of art to do on in May. I've got sort of a second wind going, and I do write a few sets here in the sidebar, but I would ignore um, the rings one, because I've pushed that back to do a summer set, because um, it seemed like a lot of people still need summer art, so I've switched that out to a beach set. Um, but yeah, we got a bunch of stuff, possibly even four sets coming out this month. So that is super exciting. Um, lots and lots of art coming out. One of them is just a like a thing for me <laughs> uh, with a lot of recolors. Um, so it's not as taxi as the rest of them. But that is super exciting. Uh, but that is, I put in the numbers and I'm just going to put in some deco. <clears throat> but that is the finished spread. We're going to be busy, busy, busy in May, doing lots of drawing, um, setting up for the sale, making sure that goes smoothly, uh, watching Eurovision, which would be exciting. Um, but yeah, otherwise that is May. Good old May. Let me know if you've got things going on in May. Do you watch Eurovision at all? <laughs> um, I know it was like, it was on an NBC last year in America, so maybe they'll be having it again. But I think it's super fun and campy and silly. So, yeah. But let me know otherwise what you're up to this month. And if you're um, excited for anything. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> the deco wasn't quite cut on this. So I'm gently pulling it. But yeah, that is the finished spread. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Um, I do have actually two videos planned for every week this month as well, so a little bit more content for you to watch, 
But otherwise, I hope you have a fun and safe and healthy month and know that I love you and I appreciate you and you are worthy of love and all the good things. And if stuff is bad right now, just uh, just stick in it for me and um, we'll, we'll get through this together, peeps. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, I love you. Bye. <laughs>